everyone. This is Denise Pride. We're back on on uh, the, the Paranormal Pride. Can't remember my own show now. See, what you guys don't know is during these breaks, we talk about all kinds of things that you guys don't get to hear about. We're actually talking about you most of the time, you listeners, um, about all the neat things that you guys are sharing with us and, and things like that. But we get we get off on some tangents sometimes, some really neat stuff, and Sometimes we come back and we start talking about it. This time we, we can't do that because we got to get to the last, you know, 15 minutes of this show so that you guys can get your answers that get the answers to all your burning questions. So you get those questions out there. So I'd like to thank all of you for listening tonight. But and I'd like to thank Cindy so much for coming on a second time and. Yes, Brenda, she will be a repeat guest again. And because how, how can I go wrong with somebody who does all my work for me? I don't <laughs> really have to do a whole heck of a lot here. So next time I have a vo- have voice trouble or something, I'll just ask Cindy yep. to do it. So, <laughs> so she's got this down. So um, there are so many things going on with cindy's life so you you've got you've got four kids right uh five actually five kids that's right yes because you had yes. children before and then children mm-hmm. later. yes mm-hmm. and yes. do your children so have they had any effects of your possession possessions have they had any of, of those Direct. Um, my my and kids forward. have been extremely protected through this. Um, yeah, and they they are very much protected and covered. And um, I, I they have not had any problems. The younger children have been shielded from this um, immensely. They don't know about it. Um, they have not had any ill experiences. Um, and another thing that, you know, I would, I would like to touch on pretty quickly about that is that, um, as far as the person who's possessed, um, it's people who step in to try to help or to, to try to eliminate the issue that are usually the focus of any sort of retaliation. It's not so much going to be the people who, you know, like, you know, the people who are not a threat. It's, it's people who are a threat that are, you know, in the in the line of fire um, for the most part. Um, my kids have have not. I've got older children. And, um, you know, once they're a certain age, like my daughter, who's now, you know, she's she's a mom herself. She did experience things. She was older and she would step in and, you know, try to retaliate and get upset and angry. And she did experience some stuff as far as that went. She was also older and very cognizant of what was going on. So if, if a door slammed or if, um, you know, a, a, a crucifix fell off the wall, you know, she was more aware of what was going on. If she saw a shadow pass by, you know, she was more in tune to things. Whereas children are not as, um, you know, they're, they're not as aware of that sort of thing. And um, they were always protected and blessed and prayed over and, um, and really shielded from all this. So, you know, my, my, my young ones now have no, they, they have no clue. They, they have no idea. They, they don't know anything about it. Um, And that's, you know, that's how I've operated. When the show came out, A Haunting, when that episode came out, um, it portrayed me as only having one daughter. And I did that very deliberately and worked with the people on the show. I did not want the other children to be a part of it. I didn't want them to be involved in in this. And so I've worked very hard to keep them away from all of it and, and to keep them separate from from, you know, this public part of it. That I can see why. 
you know, because once somebody gets your name, they start sending you weird things through your message. You know, once they get your messages, you, it you does know. happen. Oh, yeah, yeah. It does. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I know I've gotten some weird things in my in my messenger, in my Twitter, in any way that they could reach me. I've even, you know, I've had to I've had to block people for sending me stuff that they shouldn't even be sending their wives. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've and I know that, that you've gotten that stuff too. Um, it's disgusting, the, the stuff that people it, will send. So thank God you kept your daughters um, out of the limelight as far as that goes. Yeah, I think it was important. My, my The daughter that went through a lot of it, you know, she was involved in it, but it was, she was at a, an age where... Um, you know, she was comfortable with it. And I left that up to her. They approached her and wanted to know if they could interview her. Um, I told her, you know, how I felt. And I said, it's your decision. I'm going to let you decide because you're old enough to decide, you know, whether you want to speak about this. And she, she decided that she wanted to do it. So, um, I totally left that decision up to her. And, um, you know, these days she, she's doing her own thing. And, um, you know, they, uh, they know about it, but they're, you know, they, they, they know what's happened. They know what's happened to their mom and what she goes through. They're there and they're very supportive and, and we just leave it at that. So, um, you know, they're still very much, I, I, I keep them, you know, away from it as much as I can. It's important to do that. I think. Oh, uh, I, I said that that's a good mom. Thank you. So it's a, it's a juggling act. It is a juggling act. It's um, it's it's not easy to have this go on and to still, you know, do the mom thing on a on a regular basis. It can it can be a challenge. It can definitely be stressful. That's for sure. Brenda said something about chapter eight. Let me see if I can find it. She said chapter eight is making me want to scream. Run. <laughs> Chapter eight going back. Yeah, you know. Um so, so this I is telling like, you something. People, if yep. you're listening, this book is so easy to read that she started reading this near the beginning of this uh, the beginning of these two hours, and she's already in chapter eight at forty three mm-hmm. an hour forty three into the show. She's already into chapter eight. So Yes, it, it I wanted it to be that way. I wanted it to be, you know, accessible for, for everybody. And I wanted to be able to immerse people into the story and to be able to have them kind of understand what it might be like. But at the same time, I didn't want it to be a difficult read. Um, so that was important. But yeah, the, during that time, I wanted to run. There were, there were, it was not an easy decision to, to decide to go back. Um, that, that weighed on me heavily and it was not easy. It, it was not easy, but it is a decision that ultimately made. I think it was a, the best thing for me and my kids at the time. So, um, yeah, that was a tough one for sure. Yeah. Like I said, her book was easy. It's easy to get immersed in. But yeah. the other thing is it's easy to put down if you have to put it down and come back to it because you'll remember where you where you left off. Because with having little ones in the house, which we have a grandkid. And when I was in the hospital, it was, hey, we got to do this. Hey, we got to do that. And, uh, and heck, I'd pass out from the medication. So I'd have to yeah. rem- try to remember where I was at. So yes. it was important to be able to do that. So Cindy's book is is that easy of a read, but also that enthralling to where you want to get back to it very quickly. So get yeah. it out there and check out The Exorcism of Cindy Sauer. It's on Amazon. And you're going to love it and you're going to want to have her on your radio show or you're going to want to listen to her on another radio show. And if you want to, you can go check out my archive of her on my mix cloud from last August. And cause we talked about something probably totally different because yeah, you know, I didn't listen to that show before I talked to you because mm-hmm. why I know I'm going to ask totally different questions and I have different listeners than I had then. So even if I do ask the same questions, they're not going to (laughs) know. 
No, exactly. But I, but I know I didn't. So. Well, and also, if anyone would like a signed copy of my book, um, I do have some available. Uh, you can find me on Facebook. Um, my public figure page is Cindy Sour. Uh, if you contact me there, contact me through Twitter or Instagram, which is which is Cindy Haunted, by the way. And then my Twitter is Cindy Sour Haunting. So um, contact me through any of those, and I will ship you a signed copy of the book. Um, yeah, just go through me. We do it through PayPal, or we can even do it through Facebook Messenger. But um, I do have copies available that I will personally sign and um, write a little note in it for you. So uh, just find me and we can work something out. Okay, well, hopefully I'll find you someplace live and in person to do that at some point because, you know, like I said, I got mine the, the best way possible as a gift. You know, yeah. I, I love that. So, well, I'm hoping I'm hoping that I can do some book signings uh, coming, you know, this coming year in 2019 and uh, start working on doing some public book signings. So we'll see what happens. I'll keep you posted. Well, please do, because, you know, those are they're nice. They're nice to have. And, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know how many people show up at them um, because I know Chuck and I have been talking about 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 that as well. But mm -hmm. said, I, I don't know how well they go over outside of haunted season, you know, haunted no, season. That's a good question. You know, for, for most people, haunted season is September, October, and the first week of November. After that, they kind of go with, mm, you know, whatever. It's Christmas. You know, once the, the Halloween clearance crap is gone, it, they, yes. they're already thinking about Christmas. Yep. In our house, no, that's not it. So, <laughs> but. <laughs> But that's kind of how it is. So how, how does this stuff go over any other time of the year um, without a Paracon going on? You know? Well, yeah. And you're right. It, it really doesn't. Um, I mean, and I'm hoping to get to a place where, you know, where we can kind of go outside the confines of just the paranormal field to talk about this and, um, you know, reach, reach a greater audience. Because I think that... Uh, you know, the, the subject matter being what it is that instead of being glorified, that it can be actually taken seriously for, for what it is and, um, you know, be able to speak to more people about it other than just the paranormal field. Because, as you know, people have their preconceived ideas in this field and everybody tends to feel like they're an expert on things at times. So, um, you know, sometimes it's harder to it's harder to get through to the people in the paranormal field than it is to people outside of it. It's very interesting. Yeah. Sometimes it's hard to draw in those ones, you know, draw in those people from outside the field. And that's what yeah. you need to do is get the, you, you've got to get your, your field to expand, you know. Yes. That's the bad part. So we've got, you know, we've got two minutes left. So what, a minute and a half. So you guys, you know, you if you got any questions for Cindy, you're going to have to send them to me and I'll have to ask her some other time. But, you know, we'll have to do that, do this again sometime. And Absolutely. I will tell you, I loved having you on the show again. And like I said, we will do this again. And like I said, I want to have you on at a time when I know that the people are going to be out there listening with their ears on, wanting to know the information and so that you get the biggest bang for your buck. So if anybody wanted to contact you, you've already given them all that information. Yes. So can, which, which, which way is the best way to get you? Um, the, the easiest way to get me would be my public figure page on Facebook. And it is just Cindy Sauer. Um, that is probably the most efficient way to get me. Um, I'm going to eventually set up a website where if kind of everything funnels through that. But until then, this is the best way to get in touch with me. My manager and myself are, are checking the page regularly. So if you do contact us through the page, we will get to you as quickly as we can, which is usually pretty fast. Okay. Well, 
Thank you so much. I'm going to tell everybody, join us here next.